paper space is a server system. So basically you're renting a server. Um, the way Runway works actually is it spins up a server. They might even be using paper space behind the scenes um, and allows you to like basically run a model through their interface, but it's actually interfacing with a server behind the scenes. Um, and the reason we have to use servers instead of like our laptops um, is that most of these models require what's called an NVIDIA GPU. Um, if you're into gaming or graphics cards, you probably, understand, you probably have heard of NVIDIA. Um, it's a brand of graphics cards, but it turns out that they've spent a lot of time building code that works really well with machine learning models. Um, and it's just optimized really well for the math that you need to do in a machine learning model. Um, most of our computers, so like Macs, don't come with NVIDIA GPUs. In fact, it's very hard to do machine learning directly on a, on a Mac computer. Um, so we just have generally found that it's better to like use a server that's in the cloud. Um, the other great thing about paper space is it's really great for um, people who have just started using machine learning. Um, there's a built-in template that is that I'll show you in a little bit, but it's really, really great to like, uh, it just installs all the software you need. Um, one of the most painful parts of machine learning is installing all software and making sure you have the right versions of everything and that everything is connected in a way that makes sense. Um, so paper space reduces a ton of effort on that. Uh, I'll say it's affordable-ish. Um, paper space, I think, as I mentioned last week, is 78 cents an hour for the models we're going to use. Um, and while that is fairly expensive when you actually do all the math, it's still pretty cheap compared to things uh, that you can rent through like Google or Amazon. Um, so it works for what we, what we need. Um, the other thing that's nice about it is it's based on an hourly rate. So you can turn it on or off as needed. Um, Again, other places charge by the month, um, and that might be a couple thousand dollars per month. Um, so clearly, like this class was giving you like a very small amount of credits, um, but it's enough to do the work that we need to do. Uh, lastly, it's really reliable. Um, other servers that I use to do this work uh, will sometimes like break down or like turn off, um, and because I know what I'm doing, I like know how to fix that. But for a lot of you like who might be beginning in this sort of area. Um, it's helpful that these things are always up. Uh, and the last thing is like, there's some nice UI. They just have a nice way of setting things up. Um, so it's pretty straightforward. And so a terminal, um, don't be afraid. Uh, it is a it can be a little daunting at first and feel free to like use Slack and ask me or Leah or other folks that are more familiar with code in Slack as much as possible. Like, I don't want anyone to be afraid to like actually work on this stuff in class. So if you're struggling with any of it, please let us know. Um, and sometimes it is frustrating. Like I still get frustrated with it too. Um, but as you get a little bit more comfortable with it, you'll get a little bit better with it as well. Um, like I said, if you're interested in sort of like how it works, like I do have a video here on the link to in the slides um, that'll give you a little bit more information about how this terminal works and like some other things about